Hi, writers. It's so nice to see you today. I'm here with Ranger, and Ranger's a little sad, right? It's the last week of writing camp. Summer's going to begin soon, and so it's, it's a little hard to say goodbye. But I've been thinking, writers, like, it's our last week. Let's make something exciting this week. So let me put Ranger down and tell you about it. So writers, I was thinking for our last week at writing camp, we can use our writing to solve a problem. And so when kids, since kids aren't in school and summer's beginning, kids need more things to read. They need more things online and they need to learn about books that they can get at the library to take out so that they can enjoy reading all summer long. And you can help us with that. You've been watching these videos on a website called teachersbooksreaders.com. And that's a blog. And did you know that 31 educators write on that blog? Yeah, they share their ideas about books. And I thought, oh my goodness, I bet kids would join us in the month of June and share their ideas about books and websites too. So let me show you what we're gonna make, okay? And we know the steps to look at what an author makes, right? We remember these steps. We remember, we learn from other authors, don't we? And so we'll look at a blog post and see how to make a review. We can say, what do you notice? And then we can say, oh, the author used blank because, and then we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna show you a blog post by my friend, Mrs. Shepherd, when she reviewed a book. Here we go. So here's Mrs. Shepherd's blog post. And let's just notice things first, okay? So that was our first step, right? What do I notice? So the first thing I notice is Mrs. Shepherd put the title right here, A Stone Sat Still. And she put a picture of the book. Right? And then I think, why did she do that? Well, that's going to tell us the title of the book. It's also going to interest us a book because this picture book just has a gorgeous cover. Now I'm going to scroll down and let's see what she wrote. Brendan Wenzel's latest book, A Stone Sat Still, is a perfect book to share during this challenging time. Using a variety of creatures and changes in nature, Wenzel, that's the author's last name, teaches us a powerful life lesson in perspective. Okay, so we stop and we notice, right? So let's see what she did. <gasps> a Stone Sat Still is a perfect book to share during this challenging time. Right? Well, that's her opinion, writers, right? Right there. She's giving her opinion about what she thinks of the book. Do you see how she did that? Like you could do that too, right? You could say why you think kids should read this website during the summer. You should say why this book would be, maybe it's funny. Maybe it'll make kids laugh. Maybe it has strong feelings and will help kids get out their feelings. Maybe it's a book that's set in a different time and place and it helped kids kind of escape from being in their houses, right? You could do all that, couldn't you? Yeah, okay, so let's see what else she does. Now, look at this. Using a variety of creatures, we read this part before, and changes in nature, Wenzel teaches us a powerful life lesson and perspective. So Mrs. Shepherd loves this book because it teaches a life lesson. That's one of her reasons, right? It teaches a lesson that we can all live by. And look, she added some of the illustrations to the book. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, look what she does here. Listen to this. This says, the story behind a stone sat still. She put in a video. And this says, Brendan Wenzel talks about a stone sat still. Well, writers, look what she did there, right? So we know now she, she actually gave some background information. So she found a video about the author talking about the book and added it, right? That can give another reason. Here's some more information about the book. We can give our writers, our readers background information so they can see if they want to read the book or not. Okay, let's look one more time. Look how she ends it. Thank you to all of the educators who have inspired others and created a new way to reach and teach children. Thank you, Brendan Wenzel, for helping me shift my perspective. She's talking about the life lesson. All right, let's sum up what we learned from Mrs. Shepherd, shall we? Okay, so first off, she gave an opinion, didn't she? Right? 
she gave her big, bold opinion. She said it was a perfect book to read right now. Then she gave a reason and she really talked about how there was an important life lesson in that. Now you might talk about a favorite character. You might talk about the strong feelings, but she gave some reasons, didn't she? She also gave a little background information, right? She thought about the background information about, gave a little background about the book and the author. And then she actually thanked the author for writing it. And she thanked teachers too. And so there's like four things we can try from Mrs. Shepherd. We can write our big, bold opinion. We can give reasons. We can give some background information. And we can even end by thanking the author. So here's my challenge to you, writers. You can make anything you want during our last week of writing camp, as always, and you can write all summer long. If you'd like, please write a book review. And when I say book, I mean website, ebook, magazine, manual, anything you're reading. Tell us your big, bold opinion, the reasons you like it, and then we will post your your writing on the blog because instead of having 30 people post on the blog maybe we'll have 40 or 50 or even 60. so i hope you'll join us tomorrow i will show you my review of something that i've been reading that i think that you might like so happy writing writers i hope you join us